hello everyone welcome back to our ros2 course in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use turtle sim some ros2 tools and rqt turtle sim is a lightweight simulator made for learning ros2 where you can simulate your ideas before implementing it on real robot or on other advanced robot simulators later on and rqt is a graphical user interface tool for ros2 everything done in rqt can also be done through the command line prompt but RQT provides a more user-friendly way to manipulate the ROS2 elements. In today's topic, we will touch upon a little bit on ROS2 concepts like nodes, topics and services. All of these concepts will be covered in detail in our upcoming advanced ROS2 tutorials. For now, we will simply set up these tools and get a feel for them. The first step is to install the turtle sim as we are developing on windows so when you have installed the ros2 in your system it will automatically install the turtle sim package with it in order to check if you have the turtle sim in your ros2 you have to copy this command from here then you have to go into your cmd before using this command you first must have to activate the ros2 environment because while installing the ros2 it will install all the dependencies inside this environment and next you must have to source the environment in order to use the ros2 tools inside your command prompt session so to activate the ros2 environment you have to go into the workspace where you have installed your ros i have installed it in, in c pixie workspace and to activate the environment you have to call here pixie space shell and press enter as you can see that now we are inside our ros2 environment so next you have to source the environment in order to use the ROS2 tools and to source it you have to type here call space and you have to go into the path where you have installed your ROS2 I have installed it in pixie workspace ROS2 windows and you have to call this file local setup.pat and you have to press enter now after configuring the environment you are able to use the ROS2 commands in your command line prompt now you can paste this command from here this command is actually running the turtle sim from the package called executables and here you are seeing all the executable files that are available in the turtle sim package if you are seeing the similar kind of output in your terminal it means you have already the turtle sim in your ROS2. The next step is to start the turtle sim. In order to start it, you have to call this executable node from the package called turtle sim. So to run this node, you have to use the ROS2 and you have to use the run command. And then you have to type the name for the package, which is turtle sim. And then you have to type the name for this executable node, which is turtle sim dash node. And now you have to press enter in order to run the turtle sim simulator and here now you can see the turtle sim simulator window and if you go into the terminal here you can see the output that it is starting the node name called turtle sim and it is creating a turtle with the name of turtle one at position x 5.44 y 5.44 and at an angle theta zero degree next in order to control this turtle inside this simulator we have to call another node called turtle teleop key from the package called turtle sim in order to run this node we have again to open a new command prompt and again first we have to activate our ros2 environment and to source the environment for this i am going to move into my pixie workspace and activate the ros2 environment i have to call here again pixie shell and to source the environment i have to go into my pixie workspace ros2 windows and i have to call this file local setup.bat again and next to control this turtle we have to gain call this teleop node so for this you have to type here ros2 space run space the name for the package which is turtle sim and the name for the node which is turtle dash teleop dash key and now you have to press enter in order to run this node and here in the output you can see that now you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard in order to move this turtle for example if i will press the forward key it is start rotating and now if i press the up key it is start moving in this direction if i press the backward key it is start moving in this direction and to rotate it you have to press forward or backward keys and in the simulator you can also see that a pen is attached 
on the back side of the turtle in order to draw the path followed by the turtle next in order to see what type of nodes topics services and actions we are currently running in our ROS2 environment for this you have to open a new command prompt first you must again have to source and activate your environment now to check the list of the nodes that we are currently running in our ROS2 you can simply type here ROS2 space node space list and press enter it will list all the nodes that we are currently running as you can see that right now we are running two nodes in these two shells so it is displaying these two nodes here and next in order to see the list of the topics you have to again use this command you just have to replace the node with the topic space and list and press enter and here you can see the list of the topics that we are currently running and similarly in order to see the list of the services you have to again use this command just replace the topic with the service and press enter here you are seeing the list of the services that we are currently running and you can do similarly for the actions ROS2 space action space list and here now you are seeing the list of the actions that we are currently running these commands actually give you a better idea actually what is happening in the back end in your ROS2 and next we will see how we can manipulate the ROS2 elements by using its graphical user interface tool called RQT in order to install the rqt we have to follow the instructions here as we are developing on windows so when you have installed the ros2 in your system it will automatically install the rqt with it in order to run the rqt you simply have to go to your cmd you have to type here rqt and press enter and when you are running the rqt for the first time you will see this kind of window it is saying that rqt is a gui framework which is used to load various plugins right now there are no plugins selected and next we have to add some plugins inside this rqt window and next to add the plugins you have to simply click here on plugins here you can see the list of all the plugins right now we are just using the services plugins so go there and select the service caller just click here after adding this plugin you will see this kind of window and here you can see the list of all the services that we are currently running in our ROS2. As you know that we are already running two turtle sim nodes in our ROS2. So if you go down there, you can see the services related to our turtle sim node here. Next, we will use one of the service from this list and we are going to create a new turtle in our simulator. For this, you have to go into your list and search for the spawn service. Just click here in order to add this service here and now here you are seeing the list of the variables related to this service and here you are seeing the type for these variables and here are the values for these variables now you can adjust these variables in order to create a new turtle in your simulator here you can write the name for your new turtle i'm going to write the name inside these strings for my turtle is turtle2 and here you can set the coordinates and the direction of the turtle like where you want your turtle to be appear in this simulator so i would select this x 1.0 similarly y also 1.0 and for now the rotation should be zero next to call this service you have to simply click here and as you can see that in the simulator a new turtle is appeared here at location x1 y1 and if you use the same name for both of these turtles here in your spawn you will get the error that the name already exists so please change the names for each of your turtles that you are creating in your simulator and now if you refresh your list by clicking here now in the list you will also see the services related to the turtle 2 here next let's try another service this time we are going to change the color and the thickness of this path followed by the turtle 1 so again go into your list and this time look for the service called turtle 1 set pen just click here again here you are seeing the list of the variables related to this service and here are the types for these variables and here you can set the values for these variables in order to change the color for the path you can set these three colors rgb or the mixture of these three colors if i want to change the color for this path into red i have to put the value here in between 0 to 255 so i will put 255 it means complete red now in order to call this service you have to click here on call 
now if i go back again on my teleop node and if i click here and now if i will again move my turtle now you can see that the path color is now red similarly you can change the thickness by changing the value of the width here right now i will select this value to 7 and i will call this service again now if i will move my robot again this time you can see that the thickness of the path is changed and here you can notice one more thing that if i am pressing my keys it is only moving the turtle one and there was no effect on the turtle two because we are not running the teleop node for the turtle two right now next we will see how we can move the turtle two for example if i run the teleop node again in a new terminal here for this you have to type here ros2 run and the name for your package which is turtle sim and the name for your node which is turtle teleop key and now if i will run this node and now if i will use this node to move the turtle as you can see that again the turtle one is moving there is no effect on the turtle two and to move the turtle two we have to remap the topic called cmd well from turtle one for turtle two so how we can remap this we again have to call the similar node called teleop key and now in order to add the ros arguments we have to type here minus minus ros minus args and now for remapping you have to type here minus minus remap and we want to remap the cmd well topic from turtle 1 for turtle 2 so first you have to type here turtle 1 slash and the name for the topic which is cmd dash well and for remapping you have to use this colon sign equal to and now you have to remap it for turtle 2 for this you have to type here turtle 2 again slash we want to remap the same topic so type here here cmd dash well and press enter now if i press my windows key for this node you can see now turtle 2 is moving inside our simulator so this is how you can use the turtle sim and rqt to simulate your ideas inside the simulator and to close the nodes in the terminal you have to simply go into the terminal and you have to press ctrl c it will close these nodes so this is it for today if you want to learn more about ros2 you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the updates of the new upload see you next time bye bye